Are you tired of applying to jobs and not even getting a callback? Not even getting a courtesy email of like, hey, sorry, buddy, you can't make it, right? Going to interviews and failing the interviews because they're throwing you random algorithms that make no sense and has nothing to do with the job that you are supposed to be doing. Well, in this video, we're going to be talking about six industries that are actually hiring junior developers and giving you the opportunity to become a developer full time. Okay, so let's get into it, guys. Now, I do want to point out that all of these industries that I'm going to mention now, I want you guys to also go and do your own research, right? So search on Indeed.com, the industry that I mentioned, and put HTML, and you will find all of the job listings there, okay? So let's get started with the first one. Now, the first industry that is hiring developers and giving them the opportunity is the wholesale industry. Now, for those of you guys that don't know what exactly is the wholesale industry, think about it like this. There's companies that buy products in bulk from China, from Japan, from Malaysia, Nicaragua, from all parts of the world, and they bring it here to the United States and they sell it in the bulk. I actually got my first job as a developer in the wholesale industry um, by actually going into a company and helping them out with building like landing pages. And what they used to do was sell like Canon cameras and Canon and uh lenses and sony cameras and they will package them up for ebay and then from there i will help them out with the whole process of selling those products now i didn't get no tests i didn't get anything i just like hey they told me can you do this job can we look at what you have done before and that said i was hired right and to this day this industry still works like this if you can do the work you're gonna get that position now here's a company that's actually hiring right now uh johnstone supply uh this is basically a wholesale company and like i said they sell wholesale products this is for hvac equipment hvac acr parts hydronics and plumbing motors etc right this is the type of companies that are hiring junior developers and giving you that first opportunity to have experience and put something on your resume and they're paying pretty well too okay so definitely go check them out all right guys let's go into the next industry now the next one that we have here is e-commerce and yes e-commerce you could say is very similar to wholesale but there's certain differences when you actually work in those industries, you will notice them um, just because of the fast paced differences. Wholesale is a little bit more laid back. E-commerce is usually more, you know, up to be and like constantly changing. So it's two different things. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. So here's a position by Bulletproof Hitches LLC. It's a small to medium sized business, but they're willing to pay 60 to $100,000 a year. And one thing that I keep mentioning here on this channel all the time is Shopify. And if you look over here, it says what you bring, working knowledge of Shopify slash Shopify plus. By the way, guys, shameless plug. This is what we do at codingphase.com. This is what we try to go in and train you and give you guys all of the skills that you need to become a developer, right? We come in and we give you all of those skills. We focus a lot on Shopify, right? Pretty much all of the skills that is going to get you into the game. Uh, we try to take pride on the fact that we teach with basically goal driven skills so basically to make sure that you get higher it's not just like well just learn how to code now nah, we teaching you the things that is high demand and we do the research from all of the job listings that's out there and that's how we basically built our curriculum shopify right now is the hottest thing to learn because there's not that many people that actually know how to work with Shopify and not that many people actually paying attention to learn Shopify. So that means that there's way less competition for you as a junior developer to get in on a Shopify position. Okay. So going back over here, there's definitely a lot of companies, even if you search for right here, let's say uh, HTML and then search Shopify. The reason why I always tell people to search for HTML is because HTML is going to always let you know that this has to do with web development. Okay. Every single job that it has to do with web development, they're going to post HTML no matter what. Okay. So if you look over here, Shopify front end developer, uh, JavaScript, HTML, 80 to 120,000. You can look over here, do your own research. But like I said, 
Shopify in the e-commerce industry is the hottest thing that's happening right now. And there's no testing. There's no like, hey, we're going to do an algorithm test. It's like, nah, they want to see, can you be productive? Can you be an asset to the company? That's what people really care about, right? In the tech industry, as far as like, you know, tech startups and companies in San Francisco and, you know, fintech, etc. Yeah, they're going to go in and give you a whole bunch of tests and a whole bunch of algorithms. When it comes to e-commerce, wholesale, and all the other industries that we're about to get into, is different right it's different what they care about is can you do the job all right guys the next one that we have here is the arts and entertainment and recreation industries so basically this are the companies like you know disney right universal studios six flags uh this are uh the places where you know like let's say a uh, production company for broadway shows this could be uh, a tv show this could be a tv channel this could be a, a film company right these are the companies that are also giving opportunities to junior developers to come in and work in different you know positions like this one so in here we see this is discovery right uh email marketing specialist right that's the title of it but in reality what you really doing is you are a html email developer this is something that we also teach at codingphase.com because there's so many opportunities for junior developers to get into the game right our goal is to really get you guys to get into the industry and then from there for you to continue growing as a developer grow your skills grow your experience right but the first goal is to get you to start working right so this is why we always focus on email marketing and html emails just because the opportunities are there and you know there's really not a lot of like tests or anything that they're gonna throw at you they just want to see that you can do the work that you know how to create HTML emails, that they're responsive, that you understand how to work with uh, ESP, right? Maybe a CRM. Those are things that you could learn on a day. Once you learn how to code, like learning a little platform or a little CRM, like that's so much easier than even learning how to code. So that's the easiest part. The next one we have here is the education industries. And this is huge. There's a lot of jobs out there that are hiring. And I will give you guys an example of this. Okay. So this is a website manager, quote unquote, dedicated to defining improving quality or da da da. Right. What do you need to know? Google Analytics, HTML5, knowing some knowledge of Drupal. If you ever use WordPress, you're can use Drupal you're pretty much at home uh, it's a CMS okay uh, bachelor's preferred you should never listen to that that's just basically throwing it out there to scare people uh, marketing one year of experience also too another thing to really just scare people and to drive the, the thousands of people that's going to apply to this position away uh, but in reality what exactly is it that you do in this position you're basically managing the website of the amda right so this is i believe the american dramatic academy in new york city okay uh there's a, a whole bunch of different colleges and universities that are also hiring and then we're not even talking about the online schools that are popping up constantly that's also looking for developers now of course like i said the goal is to get you guys to start working. So there's so many opportunities in here where you're not going to have to deal with the algorithms test. You're not going to have to deal with, you know, six, seven different interviews just to get one position like now nah, you're not dealing with that. OK, so definitely check it out. Search education uh, or a education HTML or HTML education and you will find all of this job listings there. OK, guys. Now, the last industries that we're going to talk about is the marketing and digital agencies industry. And basically what this industry is all about is working with either mom and pop shops or small brands or, you know, working with entrepreneurs and help them create their brand, help them create their websites. Right. And we could see an example of this right here. This is a job by dot up right uh where they're hiring a shopify web developer now uh yes we're gonna see a lot of things that pop up for shopify yes we're gonna see a lot of things that pop up for wordpress um you're gonna see things that pop up for magento for drupal these are kind of the technologies that they use in in agencies uh to basically help 
you know, entrepreneurs launch their websites and their applications, right? Uh, but yeah, let's check this out right here, right? So what they're looking for, writing front end code, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, okay? Uh, all the basic stuff, extensive knowledge of both Shopify, Shopify Plus, etc. Experience with Shopify apps, third party integrations, okay? Uh, jQuery, experience with Shopify Liquid, right? Again, this is all the things that we go over on codingphase.com. Now, let's look at what they actually do. This is the, the website. Uh, basically, it's a marketing and creative house. They are based, if I'm not mistaken, I think in California. Okay. Uh, they've worked with all of this different brands. This are small brands. This is not like big brands, but you know, they have a steady flow of, of income and a steady flow of customers and clients that they get, uh, every year. So shout out to them doing their thing. And yeah, man, um, this is the marketing and, you know, digital agency industry, right? There's a lot of opportunities out here and what they really care about, just like I said, in all of the different industries is, is can you do the job? Can you do the work? Are you actually good? Have you done this before? Right. And yes, you might say, well, Joe, I never done this before. This is my first job. But what they really care about is have you actually done this type of work? So you have to demonstrate that in your portfolio. You have to be able to demonstrate that on the interview and explain, hey, I can actually do this. Whatever you throw at me, I can build it. This is the type of projects I've done. I've done Shopify themes. I've done Shopify apps. I've done WordPress themes. I've worked on Magento. I've worked with CMS, right? I've done HTML emails, right? Et cetera. Like demonstrate that and you're going to be able to get that job position. Okay. Because what they care about is actually you know, things getting done. It's not more about a theory. It's not more about, Hey, can this guy solve a binary tree and reverse it three times? Like no one cares about that. This type of industries are more grounded, right? In the sense of like, yo, we just care about the work and that's it. Okay. So definitely go check it out guys. All you have to do is search on indeed.com agency, HTML search, uh, marketing HTML and go through there. And that's how you are able to go and niche down into specific industries. All right, guys. So hopefully you guys like this video. Like I said before, uh, show me some love in the comments, show me some love on, you know, on the likes, show me some love somewhere. Okay. <laughs> at least put the letter J say, yo, Joe, I was here. I watched it. Okay. Leave me a comment. It really means a lot, uh, for me to, to get, to see some people, uh, coming in and enjoying the content. Uh, this does take work to do, you know, a little 10 minute video could be a one hour, two hour video, uh, that it really takes of, of how much work it, it takes to actually do this. So definitely show me some love. And if you really want to support me, allow me to teach you how to code, allow me to teach you how to become a developer. You could come into codingphase.com, get started with literally $20 per month. And if you feel like you want to get some of the extra perks, like, you know, some of the premium courses and also to like group coaching and being part of the community, you could definitely sign up for the, you know, the diamond version of this, which is we have the gold for 20 bucks. We got the diamond for 75. You save 45% when you come in to coding phase and you sign up for the year. Uh, so it's up to you, right? So at the end of the day, we always trying to take care of our subscribers and the people that support us. But yeah, man. This is what we do at Coding Face, guys. We really focus on those type of jobs that's going to get you into the game. You know, once you're in the game, you could always go and try to get into Fang. You could always get into the tech industries once you have experience. But at least allow us to get you into the door and help you get that first job with some real skills and some real projects that is going to help you get in. All right. So I'm going to stop right here, guys, and I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingFace.com.